here are some tips for getting started. Before stepping up onto the helix, you want to make sure that the right pedal is down and the left pedal is up. Step your right foot up onto the right pedal and step your left foot up onto the left pedal. Keep your toes to the front of the foot pedals and keep your heels down. There are multiple hand grip position options. Choose one that suits you comfortably, but keep a loose grip. The hand grips are really just meant for balance. To track your heart rate, place one hand on each heart rate sensor on the center hand grip or wear a polar compatible chest strap. When riding the Helix, remember that it's important to stay in an upright position at all times. Don't brace your weight on the handlebars or ride with a forward lean. Remember, keeping your heels down is an essential factor in activating your glutes. Don't ride the Helix on the balls of your feet. When you step on the Helix, the computer will turn on and will display a request for you to choose Program or Quick Start. To choose a program, press one of the circular program keys, then press Enter. Use the up and down keys to select your weight, and then press Enter. Use the up and down keys to select the amount of time that you would like for your workout, and then press Enter. And use the up and down keys to set the level of resistance that you would like for your workout, and then press Enter. Then you can begin your Helixing program. If you prefer to choose Quick Start rather than setting a program, press the green Quick Start control key. The computer will automatically set you at level 1 for 20 minutes. If at any time you would like to increase your resistance, just press the Up key and continue your workout. One program option is a heart rate control program. To choose this program, press the heart rate control program key and then press Enter. Use the up and down control keys to select your weight and then press enter. Use the up and down keys to set a heart rate that you want to maintain during your workout and then press enter. Select the amount of time that you would like for your workout and then press enter. During the heart rate control program, your heart rate is either monitored by the sensors on the center hand pulse grips or by an optional chest strap. The Helix computer provides you with specific information about your workout. The large top LED window displays your time horizontally and your resistance vertically. The small bottom LED window displays your time, level, RPM, and watts. And if you press the scan key, it will flip the display to track your calories, distance, pulse, and METs. By holding the scan key down for 5 seconds, you will signal the computer to automatically switch between the two displays. At any time during your workout, you can press the clear key to activate the cooldown mode. Once in cooldown mode, pressing the clear key once more will activate the result mode. The results of your workout will then be displayed in the LED windows. Once you're on the Helix, the first thing to do is to enter the starting position. Push down with your left heel, bringing you up to a level position like this. Surfing is a great resting move. To surf, do full circles with your feet while moving your body from side to side. When you want to tone your outer thigh, move your right leg in a clockwise motion. When you want to tone your inner thigh, move your left leg in a clockwise motion. To outward surf, push down clockwise with your right heel first, and then down with your left heel, down with your right heel, and down with your left heel. This is a continuous motion. To inward surf, push down clockwise with your left heel first, then down with your right heel, left heel, right heel. By moving your body back and forth from side to side, you're using your body weight to your advantage. Leg pumps. In this move, you'll be making full circles with your feet while keeping your body in the center of the helix. This will super tone the inner and outer thighs. When you want to tone your outer thigh, your right leg goes in a clockwise motion. 
When you want to tone your inner thigh, your left leg goes in a clockwise motion. For outer leg pumps, begin while outer surfing, tighten your core, and hold your body in the center of the helix, and keep your body from moving from side to side. For inner leg pumps, begin while inner surfing, tighten your core, and hold your body to the center of the helix, and keep your body from moving from side to side. In sprint intervals, you will increase your speed, increase your fat burning, and pump up your cardio. From the leg pump position, with your body in the center of the helix, pump up the RPMs to 60 or more. Remember, don't ride the helix on the balls of your feet. Grind intervals increase power and strength. Grinds are to be done with your body in the center of the helix with an upright spine. Bend your knees slightly, slow down the RPMs, and increase the resistance. Keep your heels down. In squat intervals, you will do full circles with your feet while in a squatting position. This will tone your glutes and quads. To begin squat intervals, place your hands on the lower bars and lean back into a squatting position. Remember to keep an upright spine. To move the helix, put one foot on either end cap and pull the helix towards you. 